I really wish you could loot from your bike. Kind of a bummer. I understand why you can't, but still would like it. Okay, <laughs> that was not expected to work, but we'll take it. All right, that's fantastic. <laughs> that was unexpected. I'm gonna get up to the top of this and just find out that the thing I want isn't even up here. It's not, is it? Oh, it kind of is. I, I'm, you know, I'm going up the road at this point, but. Oh my lord. Yo, is that one of the big trees? I think it is. If anyone wants the uh, the really cool bunny guy. Oh wait, no, maybe it's not. I don't think it's big enough to be the big tree. Never mind. Never mind. I don't think that's big enough. Maybe? Wait. Oh no, it is. It is. This is it. So if you go to right here on the map. I'm gonna chop it down now because it'll, if you come here, it'll respawn, but find this tree, make sure you are not using a logging chainsaw and then cut it down. Boom, there it is. The fetch -a lot bunny. There's another one. A four, three. Two, four, threes. Awesome. Be great. Check out on the map right here. This is Tallgrass Inn. This is a uh, teleportation tower next to Alpha Institute. And they, these, these things respawn. So they should respawn right there. Yep. That's a cool hidden Easter egg. Shh. <laughs> Put down a waypoint for the coordinates. There you go. Yeah. 390 minus 38K. 3800. Excuse me. Think about it. Okay. Great. Let's go ahead and get this. Uh, we might as well knock this out while we're right here. Let's do it. Yeah. We gotta do all these anyway. Let's make it happen. I think my dog Booker is barking in my garage. Uh, oh, let's go ahead and eat. I I have good food now, but now I need good drink. I need a good drink. Yeah. I'll have to figure that out. I can't wait to go back and see how our farms are doing. I get all those going too. Oh, Ashen Trap, do you need a bunny? Brew barrels? Wait. I don't have those yet. I saw those, though. Hmm. Okay. Corn ale is good. It's a lot of hydration, and the sanity is great. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll probably we'll probably do this. We'll probably get some beer going and drink lots of beer. Lots of beer. Yeah, lots of beer. Mm -hmm. 
Can you nab the chopper? No, unfortunately. And actually, you know what? I'm going to do this a little bit differently. We're going to keep moving right now. I'm going to go get that. And then I'm going to go get those. And then we're going to do that. And then we're going to move to the next tier. And I'm going to, and that's where I'm going to start clearing stuff. Because that's where I need all the materials. That's where I need the resources. What is this? Oh, this is securement sci or silo, securement silo alpha side quest. Is this, is this the one we're going to be farming later? Oh, hi. It's T Man. Ah, oh, my favorite Mayfly. I have quite the interesting bounty for you, if you're interested. You're weird. Or is that again? Which scumbag is it this time? Created a maniac, if you can believe it. Sergeant Vance was trained by Rosetta as an elite sniper, and he clearly put his skills to good use. Even I was shocked when I received the report. Over 20 souls taken by this madman's gun. After investigating, I discovered that he's guilty of all charges. Who is the commissioner? It's Jim Chandler, an old Union sheriff. He realized that a number of travelers were vanishing out in the wilderness. Once he started investigating, he discovered that all the victims were felled not by vulture gangs or deviants, but by bullets fired from the same sniper rifle. Once he determined the killer's identity, Sheriff Chandler found the murderer's hideout and went there alone to arrest Sergeant Vance. Brave but also foolish. Is this guard captain still alive? Alas, the arrest was unsuccessful. Old Chandler was seriously injured and withdrew to Tallgrass. While on his deathbed, he commissioned a bounty from me for the murderer. Damn. Actually, I rather miss Jim Chandler. When he was still alive, he'd come and discuss issues of law, morality, It's a different justice, voice. All those sorts of things with me. Our talks really touched me and helped me improve my operations. He truly was not just a friend. But a teacher. It's a pity that the old sheriff was so honest. He had no real money left and could only leave me these batteries for the bounty. A rather low price for a killer from Rosetta. But for Sheriff Chandler, I decided to make an exception. Do I, do I want to do this? Thirty-five, though. You go ahead and do it. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever done this. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done this. I don't think we did this in beta, did we? Whoa. Hey. Oh, God. What's this? Oh, God. Wait, I'm going to give up because I want that. I want that chest. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I failed. But now I can get the loot. So angry I died right then. So angry. So mad right now. For real, for real. Oh, 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 my loot. Give me that loot. Boom. I 
hope I'm mistaken. You know? They should just put in a first person view, like a first person mode. I mean, they've basically already done it. And when you reload, like you can see, like that's what first person mode would look like. Like right there, that's what it would look like. And that would fit this game perfectly. Like I would always use first person mode in these types of dungeons. Oh yeah, dude, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be awesome. And, and they've already done like 90% of the work. They should, they should consider doing that. That'd be really cool. Those like are those sacrificial? I think they are. Oh god. Okay. okay, I probably should have thrown around those barrels in there, but. I'm a little hesitant to try to pick up the barrels since I can shoot them out of your hands. All right, get all that. Isn't third person harder to make than first person as a game dev? Uh, well, it, it depends on the perspective of your game overall. So it, if, if your whole game is in first person, it, it, well, a good way to think about it is your level design can change and your world design can change depending on what perspective you you fix as your as the preferred player perspective. So there are times when third person is better and times when first person is better based on like when levels are designed. So for instance, um, in a first person game, uh, or excuse me, in a third person game, you generally don't see like any super tight corridors because then the camera would have no place to go. If you've noticed in this game, even the indoor areas are really big and wide. And that's not, be, it's obviously that's not, not how it would be in real life, but they needed to do that because it's a third person game and they needed room for the camera to move around. So it, it's not necessarily easier to make a, a game in first person. Um, it's just more of, of making the decision and sticking with it from the perspective. Yeah, but I, I would say it's different, not harder. Mm-hmm. It can be very hard to do either if your game is set up for the other. So like, for instance, a lot of people, a lot of people were like, yo, I want to play cyberpunk in third person. Just make cyberpunk third person. That's easy, right? And it's like, no, they, they actually, it's not actually easy for them because, because they made the game in first person, their character didn't have any animations. The world was not designed for third person. So there's all sorts of like very claustrophobic levels in cyberpunk that would not work in first person. Um, or excuse me, in third person, because they're just too small. It's it's too claustrophobic. So, you know, that it would be very hard for them to just put third person in cyberpunk. That wouldn't really work. They'd have to kind of redesign a lot of parts of it to work for that. Yeah, and Krizzle, then there's companies like Bethesda who make their game from the beginning. Ooh, a V3 with first or third person in mind. And in that case, it's like they just designed the whole game around both and you're good to go. And that's great. Um, like that, I mean, I wish every game was like that in a lot of ways. <laughs> Although I will say I do like, I do like when, when companies do kind of like what CDPR did for Cyberpunk, because I will say this, it's fun to play games for me in both first and third person. But for me personally, it is 
far more immersive to play a game in first person. So, especially in a game like Cyberpunk, where that's a game that is about the gameplay, don't get me wrong, but it's really about the world and the story. Like, it, for me, for Cyberpunk being first person was a huge win. Like, I thought that was a great decision. I loved how they did it. It all just worked. Um, some people hated it, still do to this day, but yeah. When companies play with that immersion and design the whole levels around it, it can be really awesome. Games like Dishonored would lose a lot when played in third person. Agreed. Yep. Dishonored is another great example of a game that works so much better in first person. Okay. Where did we kill that big guy? Because I think... Didn't he have loot on him? Wasn't he like... There he is. I was going to say, he should have some stuff on him. Oh. He's got some very important stuff on him. All right. I hate when games do this. I hate it. They put an item you can pick up in the game world, but you can't pick it up. Oh my god, that's so frustrating. It's like piles of gold in, in these games. Oh wait, so we can do it here or the other one? Do I have to choose? So, chat, I have... Uh, I can do it here or the other one. Do I have to actually choose this, or, or do they lead to the same place? You can open all. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Thank you, chat. Fantastic. Okay, awesome. Great, great, great. Okay. This level's really cool. Another obliterate. Wow. I'm getting a lot of obliterates today. Would you describe this as a looter shooter or more of a survival building MMO? It's not an MMO, so I'll stop you right there. Uh, survival builder. Yes. Um, it, it does have... This game has looter shooter elements and survival elements and builder elements. And I would not call it an MMO, but I would call it the same thing I call like Destiny or Warframe or PoE. It's like an MMO light. It's an online multiplayer game that has MMO like mechanics, but it's not it's not an MMO. Yeah. It's an MO if anything. <laughs> Kibriel says it's totally an MMO, Co just has a thing. I do. I do have a thing. That is that is not that is not wrong. What is that? I'm just gonna keep shooting it until it stops pointing that mean laser at me. There we go, that was good. Oh hi. I just shot that gentleman in the back of the head. I'm very sorry about that. Bro, the only part of you I could hit was your head. How did I get a headshot? Okay. Got me a rescue bot. Hell yeah. Ooh, a floor lamp. The dad in me is so excited over that right now. Is that a rocket with like a cushion interior? Like what even is that? I don't even know what to think about that. Do you? OSHA! What is going on here? Oh my god. I don't even, I don't, mm, I have nothing. I'm so angry right now. Come on, dude, you gotta pull up my man. Oh god, we're being raided. Subs, flood this channel with hearts.
So these raiders will take any guff from these swine. Welcome, ferret bongo players. Hope you guys are doing well today. We're playing a little bit of Once Human. I heard our buddy Thor reinstalled today. That's great. I hope he hasn't uninstalled again. I'll have to talk to him and see how, how everything went. Oh, there we go. That works. Um, yeah, it's awesome, man. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Hope you all are doing well. Oh, Perk Brian just dropped another thing. Okay, just dropped a big sub bomb on my other channel. So we're going to do that real quick. Doot, 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 doot. That's 100 subs right there. Oh, man. We're human beings, but the head honchos always call us assets. <laughs> We're human beings, but the head honchos always call us assets. How are my favorite assets doing today? It's good to see you. Hi. What's up? <laughs> We're human beings, but the head honchos always call us assets. Is that what they call you? What do they call you, though? <laughs> We're human beings, but the head honchos always call us assets. But what are you? <laughs> We're human beings, but the head honchos oh. always call us assets. Okay, I get it now. I see. Can you repeat that one more time, though? <laughs> we're human beings, but the head honchos always okay. call us Okay, okay, we're good. All right, there's a sub bomb. Sorry, I had to wait for all that to go through. There's someone there. Attack! Yeah, please shut up. Okay. There we go. I'm wounded. I need a medic. Mm, no. I think we're a little past that, buddy. Yo, nice elevator. What is this? Good show. Spray, street, weekend, music, King City, sexy. Dude, did they just like randomly open a thesaurus to swag? Ketchup? Wait. What? B bulk? Okay. Bolt ketchup. <laughs> I think that sounds good. Sure. Hmm. Is there a free sub with Amazon Prime? I'm pretty sure that's yeah. I think that's what it says right there. If you so if you if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free sub per month to use on this channel or any others of your discretion. Crazy how that works. And what is this? Where does this go? Let's get this first. A lot of stuff in here. A disturbing amount of loot in here. Means a boss fight's coming up, obviously. Mm -hmm. Gear crate, nice. First move advantage. We are getting a whoa. We're getting a lot of things here. Um, first of all, what are you? First move advantage. What is this? Fast gunner mods. Oh, is this one? Final Territory Precision. First move advantage. After reloading, crit rate 8%, crit damage 16% for two seconds. Dude, that would be so good for like a sniper rifle. Especially like a bolt action, because I think every bolt counts as a reload. I think. That's wild. What's this? Do, 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 boop! Damn, bro, that was a bit more of a boop than I was expecting. You didn't need to axe the dude in his spine. Jesus. Okay. I was just thinking a little neck break or something. <laughs> a little coast stab there. That was that was a little bit of a backstab. It was a back something. Hi. Oh, I thought he was just gonna chill. I was gonna chill. Okay. I was ready to chill. This guy was not ready to chill. Uh, he was not ready to chill. Okay. 
Okay. Backstab and chill. I don't think that's how that works. You don't, don't do that. Okay, cool. There's definitely a dude, like, in that. Um... Need to activate all five of these. They're done in pairs? Oh no, they're all connected serially. Okay. I think you need an electric weapon or to melee them? Melee them? Um. I need a stun baton. Hold up. This this can't be right. You're telling me I need a special Whoa! weapon type to finish this instance? Oh, I don't know if this is Ithris, but... <laughs> oh, it's just a chill. side area. Reminds me of not-so-fun times. Thanks, failed marriage. There we go. Thank you, Ithris. Appreciate you, buddy. I'm pretty sure it's you. Um, So we'll need to make sure we bring... Elemental weaponry with us at all times. That's wild. I had no idea that that was ever going to be a requirement for progress. So, now we know, I guess. It's kind of a bummer, but now we know. Um, how do I get up there? Yeah, we'll have to make a stun baton when we go back. Your gun has electric? I tried to shoot it with my gun to trigger the power-up thing, but it, it didn't work. So, yeah. I definitely tried to do that with my gun, but it, it would not fire off the effect. Dang, dude, this area sucks for the ledges. Hmm. Try this way. Cool. There we go. Lionel, not doing it. <laughs> not doing it. But nice. Tiger Junkie. I see bongos, I play bongos. I don't. I'm a simple man. I'm a simple man. Oh, J Dizzle Games. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Can't stay long. I'm working and primarily a YouTube VOD watcher. Catching up on the O playthrough on YouTube. Thanks, Ko, for hours of entertainment you provide me. I really appreciate that, man. And best to you, buddy. Best to you. Uh, I want to say we're back... This way. There was that other door that we passed on the way down. I think that's where we're supposed to be going. Oh no, this is this is way back. So it had to be further up. I think I passed it. Hey Co, where'd you find your mining deviation at? I think you get your mining deviation just by mining. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think you just mine. And you have a random chance of getting it. Oh, Silar says you have to mine silver ore. Oh, I didn't know that. It has to be silver. Ooh. 
I did get lucky and find some early silver. That must have been it.